Hello my friends, I am KJ. Welcome back to KJ Paints. I am doing another set of four with stencils on them. I actually found proper, well not proper stenciling materials, but this is contact paper from your local Walmart or whatever, Canadian Tire in this case. Um, so it's a stick on shelf liner that makes a decent stencil. It's not super great because it's not that sticky. I think vinyl stencils, proper vinyl stencils are probably better because they're just a little stickier while still being able to be pulled off afterwards. But I think these are gonna do, um, I've used them before, it before in uh, another painting, but um, well, there were a few leaks, but um, they're certainly much more touch upable than um, the way I, I, I don't know if you watched the Under the Sea set that I did um, where I just, taped off a section and then painted around over top of the pour. So I had to do a lot of coats of white to get it to even be opaque enough. And then there was also always still that ridge of where the pour ended and the canvas began. Um, so hopefully working with these stencils will mean that if there is a little bit of leakage under the stencil, it'll be flat to the canvas and it'll be easier to cover up with a bit of white paint later. Um, so what I've done is I've taken the contact paper, cut out my shape, put them down, and then painted over them with white paint, and then taped off the edges. So um, what you, what happens when you tape off the tape it off or not tape it off paint the edges, or you can also use like a spray uh, spray varnish to do the same thing as it creates a bit of a skin between where the the stencil ends and the canvas begins, so it's harder for paint to go under. Okay, so let's get started. I have, this is my vast array of colors that I'm going with today. So I have um, Extreme Sheen Copper. I have another dark blue made from, they're actually using purple and uh, phthalo green. That's that one. I have a light blue, Liquitex Basics light blue. And I have... A dark forest greeny color made from phthalo green, a little bit of light green permanent and black. Um, I have just pure light green permanent. That's going to be my main, well, it's the highest amount of paint, so <laughs> uh, it's going to be the, I hope it's going to be the main color. I've got a darkish brown made from uh, burnt umber. Yeah, burnt umber. Mars Black and uh, just a dab of Pyrrole Red to give it a little bit more of a red hue. And then I have Liquitex Basics Gold. Now all the rest of these paints are opaque, but the Liquitex Gold is semi-opaque, so I've made it just a bit hair thicker than the others. And I think I'm gonna put them close to the, to the bottom of my cup so that it ends up being on top. Cause I do find that with this gold, it tends to disappear very, very quickly. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use all the colors in all the cups, but I think what I'm going to do is layer them differently so that there's a little bit of difference, but like there's all, all obviously going to be a difference, just the nature of a flip cup, but um, maybe there'll be more of an emphasis on certain colors in each one. Um, but I will put mm, the gold close to the top in each one because otherwise I think that it tends to disappear. So let's get started. these wide mouth cups will what effect that will have if any I think we're gonna have a lot of copper in these <laughs> just I'm looking at these cups and that is okay I do like me a copper okay okay let's see what happens here Ooh, that is pretty. Oh. I almost forget. 
forget to get my torch out and I forgot to view paint. So look. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, I hope this is gonna turn out this pretty. Okay, let's see. is doing its job and keeping paint out of the canvas. Love this. Love, love, love. Okay, I think they all are gorgeous in their own way. This one's a little less so, but I do think it will look cool once the sense comes off and it's surrounded by white. This one is so cool. I love the, how the green came out and the blue here and the copper pearls on that one is actually kind of fitting for what's under it. So, okay. Awesome. All right. I will turn it off. Um, I don't think there's much point in bringing it back for the 10 minute, but I will bring it back when they're dry and I've, uh, I'll take, if I can, I'll bring it back for the stencil taking off portion because I think that will be fun. Okay. We'll see you in a minute. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, guys, this is, um, this is dry. All four of them are dry and ready to have the stenciling paper removed from them. So I have a sharp edge, a uh, sharp blade here to, um, so what I'm gonna do is gently lift the paper and then where it is easily, I'll just pull. But um, as soon as it starts to have any kind of resistance, I'll slip the blade under and just run along the edge. I'll go from different angles. Um, I just wanna explain what I'm gonna be doing and then I'll do a, a speed up of watching because it, it takes a little bit of a while and um, then I'm going to do all four. There will be spots where um, paint gets under and so for those I'll just scrape them down a little bit with the blade so that they're even and then I will go over them with a little bit of white paint. So I will get going with that and you will see the super cool stencils. They all turned out really really pretty. Well you'll see. Anyways, so here we go.
Okay guys, here is the finished product. And I am so, so blown away by how awesome they turned out. It was a true labor of love. There was a lot of work that went into this between me painting the base layer, letting it dry, designing and cutting up the stencils and finding a way to get them to actually stick. Um, then painting them and taping those down and then letting that dry and then doing the actual pour. And then finally cutting away the stencils and patching up the paint in between. It was a lot, <laughs> but I think they came out really, really beautiful. Um, and a lot of variation too. Like you've got the sort of the gold and blue in the fox. You've got a lot of copper in the bird, um, the copper and the light green um, in the bear and a lot of the brown and copper in, and just that little bit of light green on the leg. Um, for the deer. So I am thrilled. I am. I think my friend will be thrilled as well. <laughs> I hope. Um, yeah. Wow. I'm so excited. A lot, a lot of work though. <laughs> um, gotta have, think of ways to streamline this a little bit. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye.